Women Home Banao. I'm architect Pooja Kothari and you must be wondering what is the so much of soil behind me. These are nothing but earth blocks. So these are compressed, stabilized earth blocks which are made completely from soil and aggregates. Now I'm going to show you the entire process of how these blocks are made and this is via a completely automated machine method but before i get into the process what i want you to know is where are these blocks even used so these blocks are basically used in construction which is sustainable or eco friendly where you do not want to use a lot of rcc or concrete and you want to gain some thermal efficiency out of the blocks that are using what do i mean by thermal efficiency basically these blocks are capable of reducing up to 5 to 6 degrees temperature as compared to the outside in your interiors of home so you have a lower temperatures even in summer without having to use your acs and fans and secondly even in winters you have thermal insulation what i mean by that is the house will be warmer as against the outside temperature so these act as very good insulation materials apart from actually being a load bearing structure nowadays this is being used extensively in combination with your reinforced structures what i mean is you have reinforced columns and in between the fillers are these blocks so if you are planning to use these blocks for your homes if you want eco friendly sustainable homes then you need to have it designed correctly and planned in advance so let me take you to the process basically this is a soil pit where your entire soil that you saw there will be loaded into this via a loader the loader will pour it into the pit and from here the conveyor belt will take the soil to this crusher so this crusher is basically going to crush all the big and small soil components and from here this conveyor belt will take it into the sieve now the sieve what it particularly does is whatever the larger particles are there the bigger blocks will be sieved down or will be filtered down and the finer particles will then be passed through this conveyor belt into the storage pit now you also see another storage pit beside this basically has your m sand your m sand is nothing but a binder it will bind your uh, soil and cement and the m sand is also used to strengthen the soil so generally the soil needs to have at least about 50 to 60% clay content but if it does not have then a sufficient amount of m sand will be mixed to it to get it to the durability the chamber below will collect both of these items in the required quantity and then pass it through the conveyor belt into the pan mixer so this pan mixer is where the m sand and soil will again get mixed for a couple of seconds after the cement is come into the pan mixer it again mixes for a couple of seconds and then if you notice there is a spray a shower kind of a element here which pours in the water to make it a wet mix so from this stage after the wet mix is done we have the required consistency for the stabilized mud blocks or earth blocks now this particular mixer will come onto this vibrator this is basically a c vibrator where finer particles will go into this conveyor belt and larger particles will collect here which are dropped down so the finer particles are going to go and collect into the main hopper it's a soil hopper where your actual blocks are going to get pressed compressed and released so now if you notice the soil mix is falling down from this area this is going down the mold is going down this again goes behind and then your solid blocks are compressed under pressure to give the shape that they are giving right now so now the blocks that you just saw are going to be cured for 28 days the first day they'll be kept in shade and the next day onwards they will be put into the sun and after they've been cured for 28 days they will be sent to a testing factory where it will be tested for its compressive strength and durability so basically how they have been laid is you have a circular projection here and a depression here so one block gets into another with a plug and play method this is how it's going to be put 
it's going to be fixed and if you wish that there is more strength in the entire system then you can put your 16 mm or 12 mm reinforcement bars every 1 meter so that there is better strength to this and for your plumbing for your electrical you can run pipes through these and have small bunkers created here so this is how the entire wall can be built to create a very sustainable eco friendly home with temperatures going lesser than 5 degrees from your outside temperatures the construction technique is a little different but most of the architects doing sustainable homes will know about it and you can take benefit out of the entire system so you no longer have to make these blocks with hand although even with machines per day up to 2500 blocks can be made and it is a time consuming process so guys if you liked the content please do share it with your friends and family so they can benefit with it and if you have any doubts please post them in the comment section thank you so much for watching